Hello, welcome to The Ugly Inside. I'm Chris Pajak from the Red Men TV, the Liverpool fan channel. Um, I'm here to bring you my combined 11. That's a, a one side made up of Liverpool players and Southampton players to create the best team possible. Um, I'm probably going to boil a little bit of piss here and I'm really, really sorry if that's the case. Uh, for my goalkeeper, I've gone with Fraser Forster. Fraser Forster, Simon Mignolet, yeah, pretty much no contest. Fraser Forster goes in there. Been an imperious form for you guys. Um, even when he come back from injury, the clean sheets came back. Shows you how big a part of your side that he is and what a goalkeeper can bring um, to a football team. Uh, straight on at right back, a former Southampton player, Nathaniel Klein. For me, he's had an absolutely solid season for Liverpool. Consistently de delivers good performances. Uh, can attack. Really good defender. One thing I would say about him is he's just on the short side, isn't he? And that's not really his fault. Um, I blame his dad. I'm blaming his dad for that. Um, Centre-back pairing, I've gone with Virgil van Dijk, player that caused us problems at Anfield. You know, I think if you watch the game, you'll know that. Uh, player that, you guys know this, man. He's a good, good centre-back. He's really tall. He's offered a couple of goals so far this season as well. Um, kind of what you're looking for in a centre-back in the Premier League these days, isn't it? Really big, physical, likes to tackle, likes getting headers. Um, like scoring goals as well, I'd say he's met, he scored two this season, hasn't he? So Virgil van Dijk goes in there. Left centre-back, going with Dejan Lovren. I'm sure you're not going to be very happy with that. But you know what? It was a really tough call for me, whether it was Mamadou Saka or Dejan Lovren. And I've gone with Dejan Lovren because the form that he's in right now, I think he's performing at a higher level. Um, look, you could argue Jose Fonte... 32, 33 is he now, Jose Fonte? I'd rather have Dejan Lovren inside. If you disagree, of course, let me know in the comments section below. Left back, I've gone with Alberto Moreno. Now, if you'd have asked me this left back situation this time last year, I'd have gone with Ryan Bertrand. But, you know what, as it stands at the minute, after the last two games, after the game against Manchester United, uh, in the first leg, of course, of the Europa League, I thought Moreno was outstanding and I've not seen a performance like that from Burton this season. So, you know, I've gone with Alberto Moreno. In the centre of the park, I've gone, first of all, I've gone 4-2-3-1. Uh, I've gone for probably the only defensive midfielder in both squads. Uh, Lucas is obviously injured, so I'm not I'm not classing injured players. So going with Victor Wanyama there. I think he's he's a good player, he's a good defensive midfielder. Um you know what? He is going to sit with Emery Chan just in front of the back four and protect Van Dijk and Lovren for me. I think Lovren performs much better with two defensive midfielders. You know you know yourselves. When Schneidlin and Wanyama were sat in front of him in the Southampton, he looked really good. In his early Liverpool career, Lovren, when there was one defensive midfielder, didn't look as good. So I've gone for Emery Chan and Victor Wanyama. And I'm liking that. Victor, um, uh, Emery Chan can push forward, drive with the ball. Victor Wanyama is tasked with staying and stopping the attacks. And I like that. I like that as a defensive midfielder pairing. Um, I'll go top left first. I've gone Phil Coutinho. I don't think there's anyone in your squad that can beat Phil Coutinho. When you're looking at 1v1 players, look, Tadic is a decent player. I get that. Doesn't really fulfil the 90 minutes very often. I think he started 10 times as a substitute for you guys in the Premier League. Always seems to be removed 60, 70 minutes. So I've gone with Phil Coutinho on the left-hand side. The man in the centre, in the number 10 position. Liverpool's uh, on fire, attacking at the minute. Roberto Firmino involved in more goals in 2016 than any other player in the Premier League. So that's including assists and goals. You know, he scored, I think it's seven in the Premier League in 2016 alone. He's made a few assists as well. An absolute fire. And on the right-hand side, a player that you guys will know well, former Southampton captain, of course, Adam Lallana. Um, had a lot of stick off Liverpool fans over the last couple of years, but since Klopp's come in, he really feels like he belongs at Liverpool Football Club and he's starting to finally justify that £25 million price tag. So a player that I like there, because I want this team to play high press, you know what I mean? Exactly like Jürgen Klopp likes, nice gag impression style. And Adam Lallana can do that and he can do that and he started to complete 90 minutes. I know, I know you guys didn't realise that he could, but he can. And then up top, the one, the only... Daniel Sturridge, because you know what, from Lalana, Firmino, Coutinho, who else do you want finishing opportunities? You want England's best striker, you want the most naturally gifted finisher in the Premier League right now, you want Daniel Sturridge up top. Um, I know, I'm looking at the side and I can see I've gone a little bit Liverpool centric, but look, I've got three former Southampton players in there, does that count? I'm going to take that as it counts. Uh, and also, you know what, 
I'm being a little bit disrespectful. You're above us in the Premier League at the minute. Um, we've obviously got a couple of games in hand on you. But what I would say is when you look at the players 1v1 and do it, Honestly, go go away, do your combined elevens, put them in the comments below. When you look at the players, Liverpool have got the bigger name players, and that's and that's why doing these combined elevens is quite difficult. Uh, but what I would say, Southampton are a great football inside, but they're they're a team that is more than the sum of their parts, and that's why you guys are performing so well. You've obviously got a good manager as well. You've had the dip in the middle of the in the middle of the season. You've come back stronger from it. You play good football. I like Southampton. I like I like Liverpool more. That's probably why I've gone for more Liverpool players, and I see them more often. In fairness. Um, so there you go. If you agree or disagree, as I said, comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the Ugly Inside and come and check out their combined 11 on our channel. That's youtube.com forward slash the Red Men TV. Cheers. Hello, and welcome to the Ugly Inside. I'm Chris Pajak and I am making it ugly on the outside as well. Uh, I'm from the Red Men TV. I've been asked to do a tactical preview on Liverpool ahead of our fixture on Sunday. 